Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Nintendo Switch in this upcoming week. We're looking at games releasing from the 10th of October up until the 16th and actually there are some decent looking games coming this week, not necessarily in terms of being heavy hitters but they certainly look intriguing. So what's coming this week? Well, let's find out. First up then, out on the 13th we have a G.I. Joe game. This is G.I. Joe Operation Blackout, based from what I understand on the IDW publishing comic series. Now I've never read any of that, I'm not a G.I. Joe fan, but I have read IDW's take on the Ninja Turtles and they're actually very, very good. This is a team-based third-person shooter where you can play as characters from Team G.I. Joe or Team Cobra. There are 12 characters to choose from and you can choose to play in co-op or PvP modes. There are 17 different story missions which see you play as both sides and 18 different weapons to choose from. Now I'll be honest, when I heard there was a G.I. Joe game coming I assumed it was going to be a 2D platformer which is usually the case with licensed games so it's nice to see them try something different and perhaps more relevant to the franchise. It's going to sell for £34.99 although there is a 15% discount available on that price if you order before launch. Next up then we have Remothered Broken Porcelain, which is a horror game which is very apt obviously with Halloween coming at the end of this month. This is a sequel to a game already on the Switch called Remothered Tormented Fathers. I did play a bit of the first one on the Switch, although when it first launched it did have some performance issues, so I kind of dropped it for a while, although I hear they've been fixed since, so I might actually take this opportunity to go back and finish that one. This new game introduces new gameplay sequences and storytelling elements as you try to find out the truths buried behind the Ashman Inn. The blurb says this is a perfect entry point even if you haven't played the first one and you will be needing to use your investigative and stealth skills in order to survive. It's selling for £29.99 and the first game is very well regarded so it'll be interesting to see how this second game holds up. And then we have Vigil The Longest Night, which is selling for £19.99, although there is 10% off of that up until launch. And this is a 2D ARPG, with the emphasis being on a strong narrative, technical combat, and a high level of challenge, so says the blurb. There are four different weapon types to try out, a skill tree allowing you to mould your character as you see fit, and a host of hideous bosses, it says here, from the depths of your nightmares. It also states it has multiple endings. It's got a very unique art style. It describes itself here as being inspired by the art of Chinese paper cutting. And in terms of its prose, it says it's a fusion of Lovecraft and Taiwanese culture. It most certainly looks interesting, has a bit of a Salt and Sanctuary vibe to it, for me at least. And if you are interested, this one comes out on the 14th. Once, nor twice, but three times without number. I will find my sister. Free me from the darkness and forever end this world from the longest The next game is Zoid's Wild Blast Unleashed, which I believe is based on a TV show and a toy line as well. Although I'll be honest, I'd never heard of it until a couple of minutes ago. And this is published by Outright Games, who have absolutely been smashing out the releases lately. You can certainly tell Christmas is coming. It says you can unleash the wild mecha power and animal instincts of Zoids in head-to-head -head battles on your Switch. It says it has an intuitive 3D combat system which lets you chain combos together and the game includes a mission mode, battle tactics mode as well as two player battles. It's selling for £34.99 and it comes out on the 15th. And next then, out on the 15th, we have Space Crew, which is selling for £17.99, although again it does have 20% off that price up until the 22nd of October. This is a sequel to a game that I own and very much enjoy on the Switch called Bomber Crew, a game that I feel is quite underrated. The basic premise in these games then is that you have your crew, in this case obviously on a spaceship, and you will need to manage them strategically, making sure that everyone's job is being taken care of so that you can pass the mission. That may mean sending someone to go and man the guns, it may mean someone having to go and check the map or the scanner, it may even mean someone having to deal with intruders, and you have to micromanage all of this and make sure that people are in the right places at the right time. If it's anything like his first game, it has a very steep learning curve and you'll be completely flummoxed to start with, but when it clicks it's really rewarding i really enjoyed the first one 
I directed my crew with my superior knowledge of their strengths. Engineer, go fix. Gunners, on the guns. Security, secure the ship. Comms, um, Captain, Smolder. Also on the 15th, there is a game coming called Cloudpunk, and this game definitely got my cyber senses tingling. This is a neon noir story set in a rain-drenched cyberpunk metropolis. You work for the Cloudpunk delivery service, in which there are just two rules. Don't miss a delivery and don't ask what's in the package. This will have you exploring an immense vertical cyberpunk city with your hover car and on foot, unraveling mysteries in a world of corporate conspiracy and meeting a diverse range of characters. It also says your decisions will have a lasting impact on the inhabitants of the city. I've said many times anything with cyberpunk immediately grabs my interest and this one has a really interesting art style. You have the 3D backgrounds but then the vehicles themselves almost look like they're made of Lego. They have that kind of voxel look to them and it's quite an interesting juxtaposition. It costs £19.99 but it does have 20% off of that price up until the 28th of October. There's a pulsing heart fueled by consumption. This is where I live. In the rain, among the clouds. Next we have the Jackbox Party Pack 7, which is selling for £23.99. This new edition includes five new party games. They are the Say Anything Frequel, the Collaborative Chaos Game, the Drawing Fighting Game, the On The Spot Public Speaking Game, and the Pop Culture Guessing Game. Now I've never played any of the Jackbox games. I don't really play party games very often, but I know they are incredibly popular. And I think I'm right in saying that all the others are available on the Switch too. For ridiculous titles in Champed Up, Sad Rainbow, you are killing it. Then pick up the mic in Talking Points. Fake your way through a speech using slides and phrases you've never seen before. Finally, craft the perfect clue from imperfect choices. Then we have This Is The Zodiac Speaking, which is a crime mystery game based on the real life Zodiac killer who killed five confirmed people during the late 60s and early 70s in California and was never caught. In this game you play as one of the Zodiac's victims who has survived as you try to solve the mystery and bring the killer to justice. The game is set in the 70s and has a look and feel which is very reminiscent of that era and you will be using investigation and stealth mechanics along the way. There are three alternative endings all based upon your performance and judging by the trailer the game is set in the first person. This costs £17.99 and comes out on the 15th. Out on the 16th we have Nine Monkeys of Shaolin which is selling for £24.99 and also has a demo available if you want to give it a try. Now this is a beat em up and I've just recently made a video of my best beat em ups on the Switch. I'll put a link to that in the top in comment, please do go and give it a watch. But in that video in the comment section one of our long time subscribers Joel Parker actually made me aware of this one coming. This is set in 16th century China where you play as a fisherman who is on a mission to avenge the death of his friends and family by the hands of local gangs. There are 25 different levels set within villages, a pirate ship or Japanese mansions as well as unlockable perks and items that you can use to aid your fighting style. It's playable in co-op both locally and online. And from what I read, although it's based in the 16th century, it's very much inspired by the Kung Fu films of the 70s. Next is a bit of a blast from the past. This is Postal Redux, selling for just £8.99. Now, Postal came out originally back in 1997 and caused a bit of controversy back then as far as I can remember. This is a top-down isometric shooter and this new version is now in high definition and has remastered music, sound and dialogue. It says the gameplay has been modernised and it also includes a brand new Rampage mode. It has the original campaign as well as anything that was added in the special delivery expansion. It comes out on the 16th and as I said it's selling for just £8.99 which actually seems like fair pricing for a game that is now 23 years old. I had to do that maths quickly in my head, it took longer than it should have done. And 
And the final two games for the week then, I'm going to bundle these together. This is Prinny 1 and Prinny 2, based of course on the little penguin characters from the Disgaea series. These look to be at least, I don't know, side-scrolling action-adventure games possibly. I can't see any hints of the turn-based action from the Disgaea games. And they're selling for £17.99 each. You have Prinny, Can I Really Be The Hero? and Prinny 2, Dawn of Operation Panties. It says you will slash and hit pound your way through chaotic stages full of devilish foes building up your combo gauge to unleash powerful moves if you are interested in these they both come out on the 16th so there we have it another week of games coming out on the switch i think there were 11 there this time as i said at the start it's not a week full of top draw games but there are quite a few in there that look very interesting it's nice to see some variety coming to the switch do any of these interest you please do stick it down in the comment section below a quick thank you to our patrons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos take care stay safe and until next time happy gaming